leading our lives with gratitude, respect, and responsibility. But the greatest choice that you and I have the power to make as leaders here at USC and beyond is the choice and the decision to lead by example. Both hands out like this, put together one time. Come on, two times. Come on, three times. uses personal experiences, insight, and humor on a daily basis to connect with student audiences across the country. In fact, he's spoken in all 50 of the United States, as well as Canada and Europe. And those lessons are just as important today right now, if not more important, as we grow and work together as leaders. You know, the style of my presentation is high energy. It's not a lecture. Um, I don't talk to students, I talk with students. The message is, is filled with humor, uh, it's filled with storytelling, it's filled with powerful stories that students can relate to because it's students like them. Students that have gone through some of the same trials and, 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 and struggles that, that almost every youth of today faces. And she goes, <laughs> Look, he has the same shirt on that he's had on for like the past week. Can you believe it? What a loser. Do you want to know why the young man probably has the same shirt on for the past week, I asked him? I don't know, because <laughs> he's a loser. You know he's been going the past week? A half an hour before school gets out. You know he beat all the cars and all the buses out front? His mother picks him up out front of school. And they drive an hour and a half together to the children's hospital go see his little brother who's going through a bone marrow transplant. You see, his little brother has cancer and his little brother is scared and they're best friends and it's the only brother he's got. He gets up at 5.30 in the morning and then drives back to school with his mom. Did you know that, I asked them. Hey, did you know that? The four students went, uh, well, uh, well, we didn't know. Yeah, well, we didn't know. I looked at those four and it was the last thing I ever said to them was, how are you supposed to know? I wonder even at our schools, how some of our friends or classmates feel or felt when they've been made fun of or had a rumor spread about them or a comment written about them on the internet. As leaders, we must remember and we must share the message in our schools and in our communities that we do not know everything about anyone. The only person that can motivate somebody is themselves. I can inspire somebody. I can have them maybe look at things in a different way that, that they never maybe looked at before. I can also remind them of things that they already know, but in their fast-paced, busy lives, they don't always do. Three of the most powerful words we can say to another is, I love you. Three of the most courageous words that you can say to another is, I am sorry. That's what it's all about. It's about living and leading our lives with gratitude, a respect, a responsibility, a kindness, and a belief in ourselves and one another. And when we do that, we will play big in the game of life. I've seen the long-term impact of my programs. It can be measured through the emails from students that write to me three, four years later to let them know that my presentation, the words that I've shared with them, the message that I share with them has changed their life. Ohio FFA, I'm flying in here last night from New Hampshire and I was thinking about how excited I was to be here today because you see I know that some of you here in this room right here are going to have a direct impact on my life. That's the ripple effect, the six degrees of separation. See, I know that a little over a year and a half ago, my wife and I gave birth. My wife gave birth. My wife gave birth to our, our second child, Shannon Kendall Garrity. We have a little boy, Ryan, who's four and a half. And what I know is that some of you here in this room are going to have a direct impact on their life. You see, I know that one of you here today, right here, right now, one day might be my son or my daughter's teacher. I know that one day one of you here in this room one day might be my son or my daughter's nurse, doctor, firefighter, police officer, save their life. One of you here in this room will find a new technology that will make the world a cleaner and safer place. One of you here in this room will walk on stage and receive a Pulitzer, a Tony, 
raise a championship trophy or have a gold medal placed around your neck and they'll be inspired not only by your talent but by your grace and your character. What we give out in life, everyone, always comes back. Maybe not always in the time, the shape, and the form that we expected, but what we give out comes back. And we never get anywhere in life without people that help us along the way. Even the people that may not even realize that they've helped us along the way. I, you know, I, I, love, I love what it is that I do, and I'm incredibly passionate about it. I feel incredibly privileged to have the opportunity to travel around the country and to share my message with the youth of today. There's nothing like connecting with an audience, whether it's an audience of 100 people or an audience of 5,000 people, of knowing that there's one person in that audience that you'll be able to make an impact on and, and change their life forever. It's not about me, it's about them. And anytime I have a chance to be able to, to make a difference, uh, then sign me up because that's what, that's what I'm about and that's what this program is all about. One more time, Ohio FFA, one, two, three. Have a great convention. Thank you very much. You were awesome.